In this tutorial, we'll tackle the concept of specific heat capacity, which is a very important uh, uh, concept within enthalpy. So let's first start by defining what specific specific heat capacity is. Well, in simpler words, it is nothing but the amount of energy, which is in joules, the amount of energy required to raise to raise temperature, which is in degrees Celsius, raise one degree Celsius, raise the temperature of an object's temperature by one degree Celsius, whose mass is 1 grams. In other words, specific heat capacity is the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of a substance by a degree Celsius. And say if we chose water, um, and water's specific heat capacity is 4.18 joules. Which, which I mean again, um, which basically means that to raise, if you have if you have one gram of water, it would ta it would take you to it, to put in 4.18 joules of energy um, from from the surroundings to raise one to raise one gram of water's temperature by one degree Celsius. So getting back to the specific heat capacity of water, it is 4.18 joules per grams degree Celsius. Now, have in mind uh, that different objects will have different heat capacities. Water relatively has quite a um, has has quite a high heat capacity because of uh, it's uh, intermolecular forces. If you took, say, a metal, a metals often have heat capacities below um, 1.0 joules per grams degree Celsius. And, and that, that explains why a metal easily warms up, whereas water, due to having a high, due to having high heat capacity, requires so much temperature to even be raised by a degree Celsius. So what would that mean? Say if you had, I don't know, a, 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 a glass of water, and in, in a glass of water, if um, you had a flame beneath it, and say our glass of water contained 10 grams of water, and you, you have a flame over here, flame underneath the glass of water, and, 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 and the water starting to being heated up, it would take you now. Now, if I ask you the question to to say raise the temperature of this water by, um, let's say, if if we if we wanted to make this water boil, that would be 100 degrees Celsius. To to raise this to raise the temperature of 10 grams of water by 100 degrees Celsius, how much energy would you need? How much energy would the flame need to provide to to achieve this this goal or this scenario? Well, knowing our um, uh, specific heat capacity uh, equation, we know that um, specific heat capacity, which is represented by C, uh, equals um, for water it is 4.18 um, joules per gram degree Celsius. If that is the case, since I know that I, I have to raise the temperature by, uh, by 100 degrees Celsius, to determine our energy, you may have already noticed that we would need to isolate for joules, because that is our energy. We would need to eliminate this variable of grams and this variable of degree Celsius. Now, to do that, let's construct an equation um, that would help us to do so. The equation that, that comes to my mind um, is the equation of energy. So in this case, um, energy, which we are trying to determine, um, that had to be provided by the flame, 
energy would equal what? Energy would equal, um, I have to eliminate grams from the denominator. So I have to multiply C uh, by grams. So I have to multiply C by mass. So I could get rid of grams. Mass as unit is grams. Uh, and uh, this gram would cancel out. Also, I, would, I need to eliminate degree Celsius. Um, therefore, I have to multiply C again by the change in temperature uh, or by the change in degree Celsius. How would that look like? So, energy equals the amount. How much mass do we have? Uh, we have, as we know, 10 grams of water multiplied by, we know that uh, water's heat capacity is 4.18 joules and th this amount of energy is required to raise one gram of water t water's temperature by uh, one degree Celsius times we know that the temperature change we require is uh, um, our water was initially um, at room temperature so it was at 25 degrees Celsius, but it is raised to 100 degrees Celsius. So that is our, um, it is 100 degrees Celsius, uh, 100 degree Celsius. Now let's do a simple multiplication. Let me bring out my calculator. Let's determine um, the uh, product. We have 10 grams multiplied by 4.18 uh, joules per gram per, se uh, per Celsius multiplied by 100 which is 4,000 let me bring that up again 4,180 what? 4,180 what? okay let's see we have grams and grams that cancel out that is the reason why I had multiplied um, C um, by mass and we have Celsius Celsius cancel up that's why I had multiplied in the first place C by temperature so so that I could have isolated for joules which we have done hey we have just isolated for joules and we have hence determined the energy that would have been required by the flame to have been inputted into our system, the, the glass of water. I hope that explains uh, the concept of heat uh, of specific heat capacity. Uh, now let's move on in understanding how we could in fact harness this idea and harness this equation which we have to remember en energy equals mass times the, heat, the specific heat capacity of the surrounding times the temperature change we would like to bring up. And we have four variables to consider. That's one, that's two, three, four. Oftentimes in problems we are given three variables. We are given three values for three variables and we have to determine um, we have to determine um, um, the value for the other variable that we have to isolate for. Which in this case we was joules which was energy. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video.